Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this little graphic liner with the Cleona Cosmetics Stained Glass Collection and the ColourPop Blow and Smoke Palette. I'm taking this Elf and J Kisser brush just to like kind of trace out how I want the wing to be. That way it's easier to clean up. So I'm just taking that and I'm going to make a little wing and fill it in. That way, it's easier to clean up because, you know, it can get a little risky just going straight in with liner. So, this is an easier way, in my opinion, to do a wing to get it more seamless. So, I'm just going from the outer corner of my eye and going to fill it in to the lash line. So, I'm just building up that pigment. That way, it's a nice defined line that way when we put the shimmer shades over you can still see it that's another reason why i like to do it this way if i'm playing with shimmers is because i've noticed that certain shimmers really dull out my eyeliner pins so i'm just building up that pigment and i'm going to take it and fill it in next up we're going to work our way into the crease area for that nice little graphic design kind of cool line part here this can be where it gets really risky which is why i like to use the eyeshadow trick that way you know you're not just having like a super jaggy overly thick line in the crease if you want to have like that super sleek precise thin sharp fierce line going on using a darker eyeshadow can really really help make that a lot easier so i'm gonna take it about a little farther than my pupil more towards the inner corner of my eye a little bit more than halfway yeah so now we're just going to take some micellar water on a q-tip just to clean that up see this is making it a little bit easier that way you can just kind of have that outline there and it makes cleaning the line up like in the crease area easier so now i'm taking my nyx epic ink eyeliner and i'm going to go ahead and kind of start to trace out the wing that i want that way doing it like this makes it to where you don't have to worry about the shimmer like clogging it up or whatever goes on with that i've found that with the nyx epic ink it happens a lot with a lot of shimmers the m cosmetics one is like that too so i just find it a little bit easier to go in and apply the liner before the shimmers and then kind of go in and touch that liner up a little bit afterwards because you will have some shimmer get on the liner and you know that way it just makes it a little bit more cleaner and a little less like transparent if that makes any sense so i'm just flicking it out working my way to the uh tear duct area and i'm going to very 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 um gently and very carefully take it up into the crease where we have traced out our liner after this so just like kind of building that up trying to be as like precise as possible i was really shaky and i was just kind of like jamming and laughing and dancing to the music and like vibing and thriving so it was hard to really keep my hands from being shaky and like being super neat with it but yeah the eyeliner um the eyeshadow trick really does kind of help that way it doesn't get all messy I feel like for me, this was the most difficult part of the look, trying to make sure that I'm not being super messy with my lines, trying to make sure that I'm keeping the liner on that outline and trying to make it look as crisp and clean as possible. So after you get it kind of mapped out with your liner, go in and fill in any places that might need it because I know that I had some spots that I was like, ooh, okay, girl, you need to touch this up a little, which makes it a little bit more nerve-wracking. Anyway, now I'm dancing to the beat. I don't even know what I had on at this point. Probably Jetty Bones or Knuckle Puck or something like that. So now it's time to give it a good checkeroo and see if they're even. Once you're happy with it, go ahead and take some micellar water on a Q-tip and clean up any extra, like not preciseness or whatever's going on here i did get a little thick with it so i'm just cleaning it up to make it look cleaner okay but i feel like this in itself could be a whole look it's so cute all right now we gotta dance about it have a little coffee get ready for the best part of the entire look you know yes okay it's in a color pop palette because i haven't got a cleona one yet but look at the stained glass collection since then i have gotten two more shades and 
I'm obsessed. So I'm taking my Luxie small shader brush and then I decided that I didn't like it so I'm using my melt liner brush just to get really really up in there in that little graphic part where the kind of separates. I can't remember exactly what shade I took. Hold on I'm gonna go check. This first shade is gothic and I love it. It's so shifty. I love it. So I'm taking my Luxie small shader brush and just kind of going about a third of the way with the gothic shade. With Cleona eyeshadows I find it like the brush application works okay but you get a lot more color payoff with your finger now when i use my fingers i kind of i don't really like to but i will i just make sure that my hands are really clean because i have like a thing about i don't want to stick my finger in my eyeshadow because like my hands cannot be clean enough but anyway yeah you get better color payoff with using your finger but i feel like i'm a lot messier with my finger so all that to say, I'm now taking my finger to apply this color, this shade. That way, it can be more shifty and really intense. They're intense anyway, which is why I love them so much. But this is just like the absolute yes, yes, yes. Okay? Like, <laughs> I'm being overly dramatic about these shimmers. But they are really like my favorite shimmers that I have ever, ever tried. So, I'm just making sure that I'm getting it nice and patted down. And getting that color payoff the way that I would like it to be. So now I'm adding a nail. I went a little bit farther than a third of the way. I think I'm just using these two. No, no, no. I'm going to take the other shade here in a second. I think I used Rosette to kind of like blend those two together. And get it the way that I wanted it to. So I'm taking the brush to work that way um, to towards the inner corner. So for the other shade that I use, I use Anil and Gothic and Weld. Okay, yeah, Weld is what I'm going to use for, like, in the middle to blend these shades together. So right now I'm just applying Anil with that Luxie Small Shader brush just to get it nice and gradient. Alright, I've added Weld with the Luxie Small Shader brush in my finger. Now I'm taking some more of that Gothic shade just to get it nice and gradient blended together as best as possible that way we have a nice and super duper little shifty moment happening i am so excited with how this is turning out look at that it is intense i love it so now i'm going to take my nyx epic ink eyeliner and just touch that up see what i was meaning by the um eyeliner will kind of lose its pigment and you'll need to go in and touch it up I tried really hard to avoid the liner, but it did end up getting some of that shimmer on it, which is totally cool. That's why we're going to go back in and touch everything up, just to make sure that we have that really, like, carved out, defined eyeliner moment happening for us. And I'm just going to go in and very, very carefully touch up that graphic part towards the inner corner of my eye in the crease, and then go back in and touch up a nail. For the inner corner highlight, I'm using Illumination, and I'm applying it with the BH Cosmetics number 6 brush. I'm going to just ever so slightly go ahead and kind of blend it with a nail and make sure that we have a really nice and jamming out moment in the middle of all of our blending. I'm going to take the Smoke Show or Blown Smoke Palette and the Sigma Liner Brush and make sure that I have like everything nice and cleaned off. But I'm going to try to like do that really cool like inner triangle liner thing i'm not exactly sure what it's called but i like to practice it sometimes because i'm not the best at it so i find that it's better to as i have done before use the eyeshadow trick that way it's easier to clean up just in case it turns out to not be as even that's one of the things that i struggle with with doing this kind of eye look is making sure that like the inner corner exaggerated wing part is even it's really really hard i don't know why it's so hard but it is but I think I got it. I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to take my Epic Ink Eyeliner again and just like really exaggerate the tear duct area. Let me know down below what you think of my voiceovers. I know they're kind of different, but I feel like they're kind of fun. I always get nervous about like doing them, but I always have fun doing them too. Alright, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you'd like to see next down below. I will have all of my social medias listed below. Don't forget to use the hashtag slightly unblended for your chance to be featured in an upcoming video. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!